Hello, I am Stephen Hughes, postgraduate lecturer or adjunct lecturer at the postgraduate program in English language teaching in a private university here in Brazil. And I'm here to answer the question about how I use video for teacher development. At present, um, we've been using uh, teacher de uh, teacher based videos as part of their assessment, as part of their formative assessment where they can use screencasting or they can upload audio files or video files uh, that talk a bit about the strategies that they use in their teaching or based on what we discuss in language teaching methodology um, principles ideas and how they would apply these things to the classroom so it's either used in terms of what they plan to do they reflect on um, you know the the learning process and then talk about what they would plan to do based on the classes based on our topics covered which deal with speaking skills writing skills um, receptive reading and listening skills uh, but also planning course design uh, the use of technology and so on so um, this audio or rec the video is often used in that form and uh, secondly we also encourage them to use video uh, although not as much some uh, teachers are still a bit reluctant to do that um, but we use we get them to use video to uh, reflect a bit on the learning process as part of a portfolio assessment uh, it's as I said they're still a bit reluctant so this is something that we are working on um, gradually giving them the chance to, to use more video as part of the overall uh, teaching and learning process. So that is to answer the question right now. It's a reflective tool. Um, but what we have been doing is trying to get them to overcome the sometimes the fear of using video in, in you know to talk about themselves to face the camera. So it's not just a matter of talking about the, the methodology, but overcoming their fears to face the cameras and, you know, the video screen and so on. So that's one thing that we have been working on and trying to get them to do that, to build the confidence to actually use video as reflective tools. Uh, one thing that I've been doing as well uh, and been trying to do with them is also use Flipgrid, which is an app that allows you to upload videos in a stream so you it's like a video streaming discussion and uh, you post a question and then teachers uh, respond to that question there within the app um, and we've been trying to also encourage them to do that as well but it's just the same thing of just using a basic video so that's the answer to the question about how we use video for teacher development where I lecture as um, or as work as a lecturer, sorry, in the postgraduate programs here in a private university. Thank you once again. Stephen Hughes here. Bye-bye.